Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jazzy. So, I am feeling infinitely better than I was for my last video. <laughs> I still have, like, my period on and off, which is kind of annoying, but I'm definitely feeling better. I have way less cramps, and I haven't talked to you guys about the fact that we took our Christmas tree down or any of our Christmas decor. I actually haven't talked to you guys about so much, I feel, because I don't know if my videos have gotten shorter or what, but I just feel like I haven't talked to you guys in a long time. So first things first, I wanted to tell you guys that this past week, we started doing this new thing where we make, like we kind of prep the meals that we're having in advance and by prep I mean just like we marinate the chicken and sometimes I cut up like the vegetables beforehand so you guys I'm still struggling with my eyebrow issue <laughs> I just noticed I literally just looked at myself and I was like oh my gosh this is unfortunate but um <laughs> anyway as I was saying we have started prepping our chicken in advance so I want to tell you guys about the marinade that I've been putting on it because it's been phenomenal and I've I say this week we actually have done it the past three weeks now maybe or maybe it's only been two but the marinade is super super good and it works with almost any like side option that you want to have so I'm gonna be eating that for lunch today but I want to show you guys kind of what I use for it um I have been here's the bag of chicken so I, this is we're on our last day already it doesn't look great obviously <laughs> beforehand but this is what I use I use um, Worcestershire sauce. I don't know why people struggle to say Worcestershire. I feel like um, unless I'm saying it wrong, it's a pretty easy word to say. Worcestershire. Oh, I guess maybe I'm saying it wrong. Worcestershire Shire. Worcestershire Shire? I guess if you look at it, it doesn't sound right. But I use Worcestershire Shire. No, I Worcestershire sauce. I feel like that's how you're supposed to say it. Anyway, I use this. You can use any brand, obviously. I use soy sauce, and then I use a little bit of A1. A little bit of A1 goes a long way. And then I use Old Bay seasoning. And, like, I just, like, kind of eyeball how much I'm going to put in there. And I use salt and pepper. And literally, that's all that I put in the bags. And this we're going to have probably for dinner tonight. But this is our third bag. Like, I usually, what we do is we buy, like, a package of chicken in the, like, beginning of the week. And then we separate it and we just use the whole thing of chicken for the whole week. This is really bothering me that you can see my one high eyebrow. Maybe I should change my glasses. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see if this one works better for us. But you guys see how, like, you can actually see my eyebrows, like I mentioned to you guys, like, above my glasses, which I think is how it's supposed to be, but, oh, no, these, these glasses are messed up, you guys. They, they don't look bad, actually, but I stepped on them the other day. Do they not look bad? I don't know, you guys, but I stepped on them the other day, and they, like, they're definitely not looking right. Like, this thing is not sitting right anymore, but I feel like they look okay on my face. I am going to clean them now. Anyway, <laughs> we have been loving it. Last night, Dominic made us ramen. I'll actually put a video of it on screen for you guys. And he put the chicken inside the bowl of ramen. And he just used, like, a basic ramen packet, like, not the good ramen. Um, I feel like I've talked to you guys about this before. But there's, like, a really delicious ramen that they sell at the store. And then there's just your basic, what is it called? Yeah, these feel weird now on my face. Like, I actually can't see very well out of them. I think because one is closer to my eye than the other or maybe I just got used to seeing out of these I don't know you guys but anyway he used just a basic ramen package and then he, he made the chicken in the oven and then he cut the chicken up and put it on top and it was phenomenal and then he also put an egg in it like a poached egg so I know a lot of people don't really know how to poach eggs but literally all he does and I don't think he does it right for me but for him he always makes sure that it's like more poached for me it's more like hard poached because I don't like the runniness of a poached egg but you just drop it in actually we sent the recipe to my friend Carrie and when Carrie and I did like the um day in vlog during vlogmas where we took each other's day she actually made it but I don't know if she even talked about the poaching of the egg you just drop the egg in there and then I think you leave it in there for like a seven seconds or something or not seven seconds I think it's longer than that in like a boiled water I don't know you guys I've never done it so I'm like it's so easy because he always makes it and it looks so easy because I always just end up with it but another thing I really wanted to talk to you guys about that I'm loving is actually 
actually something I was supposed to talk to you guys about so long ago, and it's our ear thing. So I forgot to even do it. Like when I got the ear thing and during Vlogmas, or maybe it was before Vlogmas even, um, the ear cleaner majiggy thing. Uh, let me find it actually because you can tell we've used it. We've been using it the past couple days. Okay, so here it is. So this thing like comes out like this. So this these people sent this product to me, Axel Glade. And then clearly I wasn't that serious about it because I never tried it. But I had been talking about trying it over and over again to Dominic. But it just seemed really in-depth. But it's actually not in-depth at all. You download the app on your phone and then you open this thing up and it literally cleans inside of your ear this one's a clean um like a clean one so we're good there but literally you put this in your ear and there's like a camera on the top of it that you can see inside of your ear i'm gonna spare you the details <laughs> or like the video footage of what the inside of our ears look like but they it really works and it really cleans your ears and then it comes with like a bunch of different like little parts as well that are super helpful to clean your ears i don't know you guys we have been big fans of it over here it's interesting because you can see into your ear so like you can see if you're getting anything out of it it's actually really disgusting but also super fascinating and i'm not really like a pimple popper video watcher <laughs> I know there's like a lot of people that are really into that kind of stuff, but this is really interesting to me. And I mean, I don't, I tried to watch someone else's video where they were promoting this and I couldn't watch them like digging in their ear. I think it's just maybe because it's my own ear and then Dominic's ear, I'm obviously comfortable with his ears, but it's really, really fascinating. Like it literally shows you the inside of your ear so you know like how to pull the wax out. It's nasty. It's just gross to talk about, but really cool. We've been using that lately. And then what else? that I want to talk to you guys about oh yeah I wanted to talk to you guys about our plant that Elena bought us so if you guys remember she brought Dominic a poblano plant and we named it Perry because Dominic named it Perry for some reason after Perry the platypus, platypus which I don't really understand the correlation but he's calling it Perry the poblano plant and we've been taking such good care of it so I'm going to show you guys how it looks he actually took a picture I'll put it in this he literally just sent me this picture today of me caring for Perry the poblano plant but we have a poblano and we have like other flowers like sprouting it's actually so exciting I didn't realize how exciting plants could be like literally it makes you feel you actually feel like it's your child and that you like grew this plant it's the coolest thing ever so I'll show and now I understand like Elena was showing me all of these plants in her backyard and I was like cool but like that's actually cool like when you are actually like the one doing it, you think it's the coolest thing ever because you spent all this time and invested all of your energy into it. You guys, these glasses, <laughs> they'd be really messed up. I really need to probably bring them in somewhere to get them fixed, but we all know how that worked last time when I went to the optometrist. Speaking of, I also need to order new contacts. I've been ordering them. I feel like I'm talking to you guys about a lot right now. <laughs> I've been ordering them on this website. I think it's like contactsnow.com or something like that. I'll leave a link in the description. And I don't think you actually need like a prescription. I don't think I put a prescription in when I ordered mine. I think I only went to the eye doctor to get a glasses prescription for when Zimp sent me my eyeglasses, which all have scratches on them now. Like, I honestly, you guys, I love my glasses and I don't take care of them. I want them to send me more. I'm going to have to ask if they will because I literally am obsessed with my glasses. I feel like I wear them constantly, but then I end up getting scratches all over them. So let me show you guys Perry the Poblano really quick and then we will eat lunch and I'll chat with you guys later too. <laughs> hey you guys so this is Perry first of all. Look at how tall he is and then second of all I'm pretty sure I need to get like a stick to hold him up straight because he's definitely leaning pretty heavily but he's huge so when Elena first got him for us I'm pretty sure he was like this tall and I think this is the one that was started already. I'm a little nervous because that doesn't look good, right? It's a little dark there. I'm going to have to ask her. But look at this little baby pepper. <laughs> it's so cute. And then we have another one started right here that you guys can see. If I let it focus here. Come on, Perry. Focus. So that's the other one. I don't really know if it'll focus for you guys. But this one's starting. And then we have all of these leaves on it. Oh, and then there's another one that's starting, you guys. 
Wow, that's so cool. This one, when it started, it used to have like a stem come out of it as well, but Dominic pulled the stem off because he didn't realize that it's supposed to, and so he pulled it off. So I'm hoping it still like grows and normally, but because I don't know what that stem does for it, but how big is that? Like it used to be really, really small. Like it used to be this size. So very cool. And then we have like a bunch of other ones that look like they're going to start at some point or like open up into flowers. But I'm worried I need to probably like repot the plant. I'm going to have to ask Elena because she knows way more than I do about this stuff. But he's doing amazing. You're doing amazing, sweetie. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so this is what I'm having for lunch. It's just a little potato salad. We actually get it at Walmart, and it's called, it's like Amish potato salad. So good. I thought I was going to need to put pepper on it, and I do not. It is delicious. And then the chicken on the side. So that is my lunch for today. Hello, you guys. So it is later on now, and I reached out to Elena. She told me that she definitely thinks that I should repot Perry. So I'm probably gonna end up doing that, but I think I should wait till I, like, till Dominic's home, because I feel like he's probably gonna wanna help me with that. And even if he doesn't, then I'll just do it. But I'm pretty sure he's gonna wanna help me. I'm pretty sure if I repot Perry, he's gonna be like, Perry, you look so different, why? And he'll be jealous that I did it without him. So I'm gonna wait for him to do that. But I wanted to talk to you guys about a couple of things. First of all, I've been obsessed with Brittany Murphy the past couple of days. You guys know how I get, like I get in these weird, like at deep dives of things <laughs> and I don't know how to get myself out of them so I watched the little black book which is one of my favorite movies from back in the day I, let me know if you guys know this movie because I'm so frustrated because I watched the little black book and like I honestly remember it so vividly that like I honestly probably didn't need to rewatch it like I remembered everything that happened in it and I'm pretty sure I only ever watched it once in the movie theater but I have really like vivid memories of going to the movie theater in those years for some reason they must have been really good years for me it came out in 2004 so i was in fourth grade <laughs> so the fact that i even have any memories is weird to me but i vividly remember seeing that in the movie theater and then afterwards i remember her dying in 2009 i think <coughs> i say it like i don't know her whole life story because i've been watching documentaries on her but she died in um, December of 2009. So that's five years after Little Black Book. And for whatever reason, I was really broken up about her dying. And I thought she died of a drug overdose because that's what everybody said, or at least what the speculation was. Turns out she actually died of pneumonia and something else. Um, uh, I don't remember what, but I was watching the What Happened to Brittany Murphy episode on HBO. There's like a whole documentary out about her and it's really, really interesting. So I highly recommend if anybody is interested in Brittany Murphy. I know like, I don't know if a lot of people are at, at, like my age were because I feel like when I was in fourth grade, like that's pretty young for me for me to remember things and then that actually explains why I didn't really know much about Clueless. So I'm watching Clueless right now and like I've never seen the movie Clueless. Like I know I've never seen this movie. If I have it must have been like in the background or something and maybe like it was more my sister's age range I feel. So like everybody talks about how great Clueless is and I'm always like clueless what <laughs> like i'm clueless to clueless if i'm being honest but i'm watching that now i'm about 20 minutes into it and it's pretty good sorry you guys i was looking at sunday because she's i did laundry and she's sitting on the pile of laundry now <laughs> but um it's actually pretty good i'm 20 minutes in so i can't say much about it and Brittany murphy still hasn't showed up in it i i it said she was in it but she hasn't been in it yet so i'm waiting on that and then i'm also at the same time watching not at the same time but earlier today i was watching a different documentary on my computer um about her on youtube and it's really interesting too there's just a lot of interesting backstory hi baby i know you have to go to the bathroom i'm gonna have to bring her out in a minute but there's a lot of interesting backstory on what happened to her and like a lot of speculation that it was her husband that killed her and then he died of the same same stuff that she died of and so there's speculation that the mom is the one that killed both of them calm down baby i know you're struggling um 
But yeah, so that's really interesting. And then the other thing I wanted to talk to you guys about, I don't know how many of you guys watch This Is Us, but it is the best show. Like, I for I underestimate how good it is until I watch the episodes. I will say the more recent episodes are not my personal favorite, but that's just because they're trying to close up the series, and, like, I, I don't like that. Obviously, I want it to go on forever. <laughs> but I just, I can't wait to go and rewatch the whole entire series because I just love how well-rounded of characters they give, and, like, the fact the time skips and stuff really allows you to, like, realize that who you were you know six seven years ago is completely different than who you are now and it just really like shows growth in their characters with all the time skips so if you guys aren't into this is us i know a lot of people can't watch this is us because it's honestly like too emotional of a show <laughs> and i can definitely feel you on that dominic refuses to watch it with me he's he's told me a couple of times that he'll watch it with me and then like we watch it and he just he can't because it's too it's it's not his vibe it's my vibe i love being emotional <laughs> i know okay you guys i have to go i really wanted to talk to you guys more about this stuff. maybe i'll talk to you guys after i get back from my walk with her a bit more about it but we'll chat then i guess i gotta bring her out <laughs> Hello, you guys. Sorry for another change in outfits. I promise you, it is the same day in all three outfits. I just change my clothes for everything because I never want to get stains on my clothes when I'm eating. So I always change my clothes for that. And then I didn't really want to go for a walk without a bra on. And I didn't have a bra in the other outfit. So here we are in our new shirt. But, uh, Sunday, come here. What are you doing? But anyway, you guys, as I was saying about This Is Us, <laughs> so I'm honestly obsessed with it. So that and Million Little Things and The Fosters, which I think I've talked to you, I know I've talked to you guys about all of these a million times, but those are my favorite shows. And the thing I like the most about This Is Us is that I feel like they show diversity in like other people. Like a lot of times with TV, and same thing with um, Good Trouble, which is an offshoot of The Fosters that like I a lot of times with shows they focus in on like a specific person or like a specific family where I really appreciate that like they show diversity I mean it is about the specific family but they show a lot of diversity in like all of the different family members and like different differences in their lives sorry you guys I wanted to move out of the way because look at how cute my baby is you're literally the cutest. She always likes to sit in this chair next to me. <laughs> it's so cute. But anyway, I'm just saying it's a great show. 10 out of 10. Recommend. I know a lot of people recommend that show though. So, I mean, I just I just have a lot of thoughts on it. And I don't really want to spoil anything in case any of you guys decide to watch it. But there's just a lot going on in it. And it just brings up some great conversation. Like when I was at my parents' house, we watched it. And like it just brought out like really good conversation with all of us. Even though it wasn't always like the funnest conversation to be having. <laughs> it really did like bring up topics like what happens if this happens to one of you guys like what are you guys gonna do or what you know what I mean like just different things that are really important I think to talk to as we get older as our parents get older and all of that stuff but anyway you guys I'm going to wrap this video up here because I am going to edit it and get it up for you guys tomorrow but I hope you guys are having a good week and I hope by next time you see me I will no longer have my cold sore <laughs> Wouldn't that be amazing? All right, guys. I love you. I will see you in my next one. <laughs>